What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the long-awaited episode of Leopard Gecko Room 2.0. So taking you from the entry point in, we have, you know, we're going to take a little bit of time to kind of organize things a little bit different uh, because this is slash was my garage. Um, I do have a tool shelf here. So, you know, we got the weed whacker and other things that I just don't have room for elsewhere. We got our crocodiles right here. They look really nice flush up to this thing, but I have to push them back a little because you'll see in a second, we have carts that we push around here. So welcome to the baby aisle. This is sort of the baby aisle. We got on decking, shipping, all kinds of like storage stuff that we could put here. We're also going to have overflow space to be able to house more geckos down here. So that's really cool. Shout out to Sam's Club actually, cause these things are super nifty and they're only like 80, 90 bucks at Sam's Club uh, and they do a really fantastic job. So let's put these stainless steel tables back. Guys, it is so nice to be able to move around in a large space. We can flip these tables any which way we want it. We obviously just need to be careful about, you know, hitting tubs and stuff, but that's why we got the little clips on the tubs so that nobody's gonna get away and we really haven't had any escapes, you know? Uh, in moving a thousand plus geckos, we had one accidental escape and it was probably just cause a clip accidentally came off one of these big tubs over here. So as you can see at the ceiling, circulation is gonna be very important. And so I, I took all the fans out because of how loud they are. I'll show you at the end of the video how loud they are, but these are like $175 each. So there's literally seven, $700 worth of fans up in here. And wow, there it is guys. Ah, the beautiful two ton mini split that we got. You see, I set it to 85 and man, with these fans guys, it really keeps it 85. Um, the last owner of this house also had some really nice lighting in there and a few light bulbs are out right here, but we're gonna get those bright white ones and put them here as well. So kind of coming back around to this side, we got some frozen rats, uh, some frozen shipping supplies, uh, you know, a few food items and stuff that, that we use for ourselves. We have our mealworm drawers, large, medium, labeled with the dates. And then here we got some more mealworms over here. Ignore this. Whitney likes this because it's called Pink Whitney. So anyway, more mealworms right here. By the way, if you're in Arizona, we are now going to be a full on distributor for rainbow mealworms in Arizona. So you never have to worry about shipping in the summertime or a delay of getting your mealworms. We will have them ready and waiting for you. Just give me a call 480-299-7657. I'll leave the number in the comments below. All right, guys, so you know how they like name different parts of the ship and stuff like that? So we have to figure out what this is gonna be. So coming in, you know, from the main house, we have the two mealworm refrigerators, and then we have this little alley right here. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. We got this little alley right here, and I don't know what to call this, Leopard Gecko Cove? How does that sound? Leopard Gecko Cove? I like this, it's kind of like a little, Outcove, you know what I mean, of, of just leopard geckos. So we got that over there. Um, these are our breeder bins. You know, we keep two females to a bin and then we rotate males through. Um, we keep track of breeding dates. Uh, red is when they stop breeding. Green is when they bred. Uh, empty green means that they need to be repaired or rebred. We also keep track of who cleaned what on what dates. So you can see that up there. Another fan, you could hear this, listen. Super powerful unit right there. Uh, we got a rack of six quart uh, tubs over here and we got more breeders over here. So these are more groups. These style units are going to go out of style and I'm actually gonna do them like our new ball python racks. I'll show you that real quick. So this is the new ball python racks that I started making. So I made this from PVC. We get them from a nice supplier out here in Arizona. So let me know if you need some. Uh, but this will be the style rack that I will start to make for the leopard geckos, just like this. Um, obviously, same same size tub, you know, 28 core tubs. This is a special het puzzle. That's gonna be amazing to make some special puzzles. And this can push all the way back. It's got a little bit of a lip right here, um, and it has a particle board as a backing. So contrary to some of our other racks that we did not 
put backings on, this one has a backing. And I will definitely be doing that with every single rack moving forward. It's just so much more convenient. This is where the leopard geckos used to be. So it's kind of turned into a temporary storage room. Um, and then we will, you know, kind of empty that out and convert that over the next couple weeks. And same with this over here. This is where the leopard geckos used to be. We still have to set up a leopard gecko in a very nice apex three foot cage. So we're going to do that. We have our quarantine rack for our leopard gecko here. And since this room is not heated, I have a heat strip down there. So special surprise for that leopard gecko coming in a future video, but I'm just quarantining just to be safe. These are beautiful. We're gonna be bringing these to the show. These are made by Lisa out here. You guys in Arizona know Lisa, and I'll definitely uh, drop her link in the comments below. But look at this. She makes like these spider jewelry type things and scorpion ones. She made this for us and I am so excited about it. Look how cool it is. Love it, I'm gonna put it in the leopard gecko room actually. Let's do that now. It can watch over the leopard geckos. Where should we put it? Maybe here? We'll, fi we'll find a nice spot for it. I kinda want it to be a little more visible. We'll put it right there, it'll look beautiful for now. The old owner used to have a gym in here so he had um, a mirror back there but we're not gonna be using that mirror very much really. So it's fine. Uh, this is also our old style rack. You can see not as easy to move and stuff like that. Not as space, space conservative as the newer style racks. Um, but I'm keeping it in here for now until it is replaced. All right, coming back down, baby leopard gecko lane. Oh, here's some more adult breeder groups too. Baby leopard gecko lane. This is it guys. This is where the magic happens with all the baby leopard geckos that get converted over to adults that go to you guys. And we will be doing a lot more shows. So stay tuned for that. We're also gonna be traveling the country and doing shows. So all of these drawers, they can hold different things. Here's our dirt mixture. Here's just random supplies. We need to organize this drawer, but that's step two. Here's little notes that I could leave to the staff and the crew over here. Shout out to the Geeky Gecko crew for helping hold all of this down. Evelyn, Angie, Xavier, Jonathan, Chucky, Tatum. Am I forgetting anybody? Whitney, myself, who else? I'm sorry if I forgot anybody. It's so late, my brain is like pooped, but I think that's pretty much it for now. Oh, Sarah. You know, when, when you have good helpers and good employees, they can recommend good people. And Angie was able to recommend one of her friends, Sarah, who's actually been like a warehouse and inventory manager in other businesses that she's been a part of. So I think she's gonna be an excellent fit around here. She already cleaned her first row of leopard geckos this week. You can see Sarah and uh, she did an excellent job. All right, let's plug those fans in and I'll show you just how loud they are. All right, guys, got the fans plugged in. You can see right here just how loud it is. I kind of have to scream, but it feels so good. The air circulates so, so well. Like, it doesn't even smell at all. And so I really like the extra money that I put into the fans. Um, another thing, too, I tried to, like, as much as possible, space out the racks a little bit so that there's cracks and a little bit of space to see if we do have any escape geckos, you know? I can kind of, like, come over here check behind here make sure that there's no escape geckos or anything and we did shut the electricity off to the garage door and we purchased dead bolts and cameras and everything so it is security safe you know what i mean and just like an extension of our house so if you're thinking about expanding your reptile business or whatever you got going on this is definitely a great way to do it i of course have these that i always keep track of and I have a couple of these that I leave around. You can see there's another one right here. 85, that one's 85. You can see with these fans, it really keeps temperature very stable. So let's do a quick test. 85, 85, 85, 84. You know, these things can be one or two degrees off, you know, at any given time. But if they're somewhat close, you're gravy. See, this says 84 and this one says 85 and this is the higher quality one. So basically, Anytime I see 84 on here, I could assume it's 85. And that's from the floor, to the mid, to the top, and then even to the ceiling, all 85. Isn't that amazing? I tried to get away with using two or three fans, but it did not work. Four fans were needed to kind of circulate that air, just like an incubator. I also love to blast music while I'm working, so I do that. Some of the employees just wear their earbuds and stuff for music. 
This is what it looks like at night kind of coming through here. I just want to show you. So pretty cool. Got a nice big trash can there. Where this chair is, I'm thinking I'm gonna put a mop bucket there or maybe in this corner. So if you guys got any recommendations for you know, types of chemicals to use to clean the floor that's animal safe with the fumes and all that kind of stuff, I'll definitely be looking into that and uh, feel free to share it. But I'm really excited to just like keep this squeaky clean. Now that we have so much space, it's a little bit easier to kind of manage dust levels. So we sweep every night. We, we kind of clean these after every shift. Uh, we'll also integrate mopping the floors after every shift or every couple of shifts as well. And I think it'll just be a really cool and clean operation. Well, that's it guys. I just wanted to take a quick second to kind of show you the new reptile room facility. I hope you stick around and continue to follow us to see where we wind up going from here. But this step will definitely hold us over for a little bit. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, have yourselves a geeky gecko. Great day. Peace.